Hello, Danny Crane, and welcome back to TIS 100. Today we're going to look at the sequence reverser. This is the first puzzle that you get that includes the stack memory node. Uh, this is actually a tutorial for it. It basically teaches you how it works. And what this does is you can't write any program in this node. Uh, what it does instead is it accepts any data block that you send to it and puts it in a stack. Uh, it will also send a data block to out to any node that asks for it, but it does it in the reverse order. It takes the last one you put in, and it's the first one to come out. Uh, and that's exactly what we have to do with this test. Uh, we get some sequences that have zeros at the end of them. We need to read that sequence from the input, reverse it, and write it to the output. And that's exactly what the memory node does. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get that number in, we're going to check to see if it's a zero, because if it's a zero, we know we're at the end of the sequence and we need to start outputting numbers. When it's not a zero, we're going to send those over to the stack memory node. Once we get that zero, we're going to start pulling these numbers back out and sending them right on down to the output. Uh, now we have to check those numbers coming back out as well because we need to figure out when we hit the end of the sequence because some of these sequences are five numbers long, some of them are only one number long, uh, some of them are none. It, it, we've got one here that's double zero. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have a zero be our very first thing into it so it's going to be the last thing we put out of it. Uh, and we're going to have this block also check that uh, those numbers coming out of the stack memory node. Uh, for that zero so we know we hit the end and we can start a new sequence. So the first thing we're going to want to do is move a zero to the right. Not an O. For some reason I do that every once in a while. Um, and so what this is going to do, I'll step through it here real quick. On the first tick we get a zero coming out and it goes into that first block there. Um, and that's exactly what we want. And then what we're, we're going to start doing is we're going to start taking these ends, uh, input numbers, and sending them over here. So we'll go ahead and stop that. So the next step, we're going to start with our start label. And then we're going to move the up value to the accumulator. And now we need to check if it's a zero because we need to figure out when we're at the end of the sequence. So jump if it's equal to zero to the Z bookmark. If it's not equal to zero, all we have to do is move the accumulated value to the right, just like we did with the zero in the beginning. Uh, and then we're going to jump back to the start. Now when it's z, when it's zero, we want to move the right to the accumulator again. Because now we're going to have to reverse everything. We're going to take these numbers out. Now we need to check if it's equal to zero again. If it is equal to zero, we're going to jump to the Y bookmark. Uh, if it's not equal to zero, we're just going to move the accumulated value down. Oops. And then we're going to jump to Z. So we're going to just repeat that again. Now when it does equal zero, when we get that zero out, we're just going to move the accumulated value down. And that's it. Uh, so what it'll do is once we get that last zero out of it, it'll move that down just like it does here. And then it'll jump all the way back up here where it moves the zero into the right and starts the whole thing over. So now all we have to do is move the up value to the right. We're going to move the left down. And then we're going to move the up down. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and press start here and you'll see our numbers come in. Number comes back out when it reaches that point. Uh, and everything looks good right here. So we get our four tests. Three of them, I believe, are still always the same numbers. And then the fourth one is a random set of values coming in. Uh, so you can see the first test passed in the 373 cycles and then 371, 369. It will take our worst score as our benchmark. This is the third random test and there we go. Uh, so that one was actually just as bad uh, or the worst one was the first one at uh, 373. Uh, so pretty much this is the same solution most people have out there kind of smack dab in the middle. Uh, and so that is how the memory nodes work. Thanks for watching.